Hello everyone, we are in a chapter called electrostatics where we are dealing with the charges in the state of rest. Anybody who is having equal number of the positive and negative charges is called a neutral body. Body who is having extra charges is said to be like a charged body, right? Neutral body means, what do you mean by neutral body? Number of positive charges is equal to the number of negative charges. Suppose if a body has extra negative charges, then that is called negatively charged body. If a body has extra positive charges, be careful in understanding that it has not gained extra positive charges but it has lost electrons therefore it has having extra positive charges and the body is said to be positively charged. Then how can we charge these bodies as we have discussed earlier there are different methods charging by friction we have discussed this earlier like when a glass rod is rubbed with silk cloth one body will lose the electrons other body will gain the electrons therefore we can say charge is conserved, neither created nor destroyed, just converts from one body to another body. There is another method like by conduction. What do you mean by conduction is when you allow the charge to travel, it can travel from one body to that of the other body. By contact also it is possible. As if like water flows from one point to other point due to pressure difference as if like heat flows due to temperature difference current or else the charges also flows due to a difference in a physical quantity called something like potential difference we are not going into the details of this as of now, we will go to that a little later, but charge can flow even when the two bodies are in contact. Let us consider a simple example that uh, I have two identical spheres, two identical spheres, let us consider two identical spheres. Say one ch sphere is having charge say some positive charge, both are equal in nature, identical in nature, other one is neutral. Neutral does not mean it is not having any charges, but it is not having any excess charges, whereas the first sphere is having a excess charge. Say for example, you have moved this charge, this sphere, this side and this sphere, this side and you have got both of them in contact. And then you have separated them back like this. What we can notice is each sphere will share the charges equally. Be careful to understand that these two spheres are identical spheres. Thus, trans charge transfer can happen even when the bodies are in contact, charged bodies are in contact. Of course, there is one more method to transfer the charges or to influence the charges that is called by induction. We will take a separate lesson to explain what do you mean by induction is. We will continue this in the next lecture. So, charge of a body can be done in different ways either by friction rubbing one body with the other body, by conduction by passing the current, by contact or even by induction is. We will discuss what is that induction is in the next lesson. Thank you.